Hi, my name is Ali Garamani. I'm a researcher at the Center for the Built Environment at UC Berkeley. Here I will present our new invention on monitoring 3D airflows for indoor applications. Airflow is very important for indoors, specifically for human health and human comfort as it's transparent for energy and also fresh air to, in indoor environments. But the problem is that right now we don't have a reliable and inexpensive sensor for monitoring uh, these uh, 3D airflows indoors. And that motivated us to build this new sensor that provides that opportunity. This sensor uses four transducers sitting in a tetrahedron formation, all looking at the center, and each transceiver uh, sends out ultrasonic signals received by the other three, and alternatively, another one wakes up and sends out, and we get the time of flights on different paths in this anemometer. And then based on the time of flights, we calculate the 3D airflow. And we have a very specialized algorithm to calculate this uh, time of flights, which we use phase difference uh, based on the actual temperature, and we correct it, and we actually then calculate the time of flight. And then based on the velocities that we calculate based on the time of flights, we calculate the 3D airflow. And specifically for 3D airflow, because we have shieldings happening by the arms and the structure of the anemometer, we need advanced algorithms to compensate for those. And we spend a lot of time on tuning all these different components. Plus, for example, we have added these small arms to minimize the reflection as the vibrations are being uh, piled up in the membranes to, have a, to the point that we make the measurements. And also, these arms are tear-shaped to also minimize the uh, reflections. And so we have uh, tested the anemometer for different conditions. We have really good accuracies, about 3% absolute airflow, and less than 3 degrees, both for the air uh, angle for in the ra radial space, in the horizontal space, and also ver the vertical. And so here you can see our anemometer in action. Here is the user interface. You can see different path velocities in the top two rows. And we calculate then V X V Y V Z, and then accordingly the overall velocity, radial angle, and vertical angle. So here I'm going to show you rotating the anemometer for 360 degrees with a fan running. And you can see here for the radial angle, we expect to see a smooth, quite a smooth 360 degrees rotation that wraps around minus 180 to positive 180. Uh, so you can see here as it's as it wrapped around minus 180 to positive 180 coming back to the starting point so we have less than three degrees error for the rotational uh, for the uh, radial angle and we believe the cost because it uses ultrasonics built through uh, MEMS wafer it's cheaper and also it uses pulse method, so it's less power intensive, and we believe this is a great product for being used indoors for commissioning and for providing healthier, better environments.